that is what my biggest recommendation is for sending agent queries out and pitching publishers, traditional as well. Being that you've got two books out, they're going to ask, you know, one of the first questions they're going to ask, whether it's an agent or a publisher, they're going to say, how many books did you sell? What is, you know, that really that's all they care about. So if you're like, oh, I sold, you know, 500 books or I sold a thousand books, tell them about also how you like to go and do tours. You'll, you'll actually go in person. I noticed that you have some on your website. Talk about that. Put that in your proposal, you know, show I've spoken at these places and this is what I talk about. Show, show photos from that, you know, that also catches their eye. So what they're going to ask is that you've had two other books. They're going to know, you know, I've, I've sold this many books. And hear a whole plan and here's another one that i wrote you know about climbing in this and it's it's cool then not only having your comparative titles and analysis which is a huge part of it obviously but and you want to pick 10 titles that are in the last five years that are similar nothing's going to be your book but something similar that has sold really well and it doesn't have to be about climbing it could be about just accomplishing this huge goal that someone set their mind to that's like so hard to do and they made it there and they did it right? Putting your mindset. It's really mindset, you know? So that's, that's one of your, I would put that on there. Um, and your genre for that. Yes. It's a memoir or it's like your story, but it's also, it's got a theme of mindset, right? So mm -hmm. what other themes are in that book that you would have as well? Finding those themes in it, writing that all down right here in that proposal as well, because it's going to get their mind thinking because also what's selling right now, what's trending with publishers and agents, self-help books, mindset books, psychology, you know, trauma, those, those books are trending, how to heal from trauma, how to get past, you know, your, and, and you've got two books that talk about that as well. So mm -hmm. I think just, I would right now, absolutely. It's time for you to get an agent. It's time. <laughs> you know, like I think you, you can absolutely do it and then just create that book proposal, show your two books in it and show a whole plan. And, and you'd be good to go, honestly. Now, given like, I'll say with traditional publishers, um, you know, for first time authors, it's like five to 10,000 usually up front is what you get. You're not a first time author. You've written two other books. However, what they still look at it as if these books didn't do well, like if they didn't sell well, then they're going to say, uh, it's still considered first time author. Just so mm. you know, so just to kind of, just to speak to that. And yes, it could be a marketing plan, right? But they're going to want to know, like yeah, the traditional publishers, they've got a marketing team, they've got a PR team, but they still want to know that you're going to market and that you have a whole marketing plan with it as well. And so if the track record isn't so good on these two, you need to explain why and be prepared to explain why, because that's going to be a question they're going to ask in your meeting. And if they're also, I would address it. I would honestly address it almost in the email, speak to it, you know, mm -hmm. like the, mm -hmm. the the mouse in the room, <laughs> you want to speak to that mouse because they're going to, they're going to think that anyway, oh, wow, this is like a really good, you know, pitch, but why didn't these two sell or, or, you know, so it's like just having an answer for that um, and being creative with it, you know, thinking outside the box, you could even be like, well, those were, it was COVID or, or whatever it may be, you know, and I didn't have the, the team then, but I'm ready for the team now, whatever it may be, you know, talk about it. Um, maybe you were working so much then, and now there's freedom and free time to whatever it may be, um, you know, put that in there. Um, and that's like my advice to you, you know, I don't, there's so many things I could say right now, but I feel like, it, and too, you have a website. I like your website. It's great. Well, thank you. Yeah. Um, and having a presence everywhere, like you're saying, like LinkedIn, like it's funny because I have a lot of authors that usually come to me and they say, I'm not on social. I don't want to be on social. <laughs> and I hear that a lot, uh, but I'm, <laughs> it's a catch 22, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I mean, they're, guess they're, what? you don't yeah, have to be on social, but you have to have a girl or a guy or someone doing somebody to do yeah. something on. <laughs> exactly. You've got to have that presence.